Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet X News. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel. It is August 1st, 2017. And ladies and gentlemen, I just labeled this video the Planet X Sunset. Reason being, at 7.45 p.m. yesterday, just before we were ready to do a live stream with the physicist and Jeff P., our special guest, I decided to just take a few snapshots of the sun because it kind of looked odd and we've been seeing a lot of odd skies, odd things with the sun, the moon, the clouds, you name it. So I decided to crack off a few photographs and I really didn't look at them till we were just beginning to start the live stream. I showed a few of these pictures yesterday during that live stream and I've taken a lot of photographs of the sky, clouds, chemtrails, planets, you name it. But never have I ever seen a photograph like this come out of my camera. It was just absolutely amazing. And I'm going to share some of these photographs with you. Uh, they are definitely very odd. You know, when you're looking at the sun and the next thing you know, you're seeing these very, very odd things. It just makes you wonder. Now, one of the first photographs I'm going to share with you is a photograph I took the day before. And, you know, they had just got done chemtrailing pretty heavily. And you can see this light cloud cover as the chemtrails start to dissipate. And once again, during sunset, this was about 6.45 p.m. that I snapped this photograph. Where is the other third of the sun? And it just, it just didn't appear in, in one photograph. I took several photographs and it just seems that either that's part of the deception, the concealment with the chemtrailing, that's the effect that I, that I got with the camera. I have no idea, but it's one of the oddest photographs that I've ever taken. Now, this is the next frame and you could see a small lens flare down here from the camera, but you can see this very light cloud cover as they chemtrailed. And where's the other half of the sun? Now, I know it may be an effect of the camera, the lighting, and possibly this chemtrailing. Once again, the deception I mean, just take a look at that. I really don't have any answers for it, but there's the photograph. I wanted to share these with you to basically just show you what I'm capturing. Now, just before we went on our live stream with Jeff P and the physicist, this is when I decided to snap a few photographs of the sun. It just looked very odd. It was glowing a very, very bright orange for the first time in a long time, I've seen that color. So I took a few photographs and this is what came out. I mean, last night when we were on the live stream, I mean, I referred to it as looking like a spaceship. <laughs> it's just very, very odd that you would get this type of coloration. Pink, yellow, a lighter yellow, around the, the rim of the sun and pure white. So, you know, I put it through a few filters, wanted to check it out, and I wanted to show, the, show all of you these photographs. Now, this was just adding some exposure, adding more light to the photograph, and even adding more exposure, you're still getting that same effect. Just very, very odd. And here's another frame, another picture. And again, you're looking at the same type of effect. Never seen anything like this before. And I've taken thousands of photographs of the sun. Now, this was a few minutes later and the sun was actually starting to set. So it was getting a little bit darker, but still it maintained that effect. 
Very odd. And again, just a little bit more exposure. And there you go. It is definitely one of the oddest photographs that I've taken in a long time. We we'll move on to the next photograph here. Now, these are ones from the other day. Move into the next file here. Now I inverted this photograph just to see if I could see anything strange. And sure enough, this is what I got. You could see the lens flare down here. I'll zoom in for you. And that's what I came up with. That's what was in my sky at 7.45 p.m. on July 31st. Now, I turned the photograph into just plain black and white. And that's what came out. I mean, in my opinion, it doesn't even look real. I've never seen the sun in this type of formation, the, this type of coloring that I showed you before. Just very, very odd. Move to the next set of frames. Now, I was kind of curious at what I was seeing. So I put a welding lens right over the camera. And sure enough, this is what came out. Once again, it still maintained that very weird shape. And the camera was still able to pick up what it was seeing. Very, very odd. Now this photograph here, this is what you call a solarized filter. So I decided to run the photograph through this filter just out of curiosity. And this is what I came up with. Very, very simple. A few clicks of the mouse and that's what came out. What this is, no idea. Kind of shaped like a lemon. And I've had a lot of people send me photographs and uh, they were labeling the photograph the lemon sun, the lemon shaped sun. But it's a very, very odd shape and a very odd filter. But it makes you really wonder what the hell is that? Very strange. And this photograph here was just as the sun was getting ready to go down. So this was approximately 8 p.m. And again, I mean, you can see the, the sky was getting a little bit darker in the background. But this type of illumination from the sun, uh, the magenta color all around the sun. And you know, it seems that every single day where I live, between 7 and 8.30 p.m., the skies just turn this magenta pink color. Then it gets a little darker and a little darker. But the coloration pretty much stays the same. And then you'll get these kind of golden hues to the pinkish magenta color. And then the sun goes down over the hills. And by 9 or 9.30 p.m., close to 10 p.m., the sky isn't black. It isn't dark. It's like a dark navy blue with this magenta color right above the horizon. Very strange. Never in my lifetime have I seen skies like this before. 
but I wanted the opportunity to share these photographs with you because I just felt that they were very, very odd. You know, and again, I've taken so many pictures of the sun over the years and by far some of the craziest looking photographs that I've seen as of yet. Very interesting, almost like a postcard. But that's what I saw in my skies yesterday, July 31st, 2017 at 7.45 p.m. This is Scott from Planet X News and the Nibiru Channel. Thank you for watching.